Hey, it's me again. We're going to answer the question, do we really need fat in our diet? Okay. Mainly I want to talk about the essential fatty acids. Essential meaning must come from diet. Your body cannot make it. It's required by the body. And there are basically two categories of essential fatty acids. Uh, we have one category, which is omega-6 fatty acids, which are generally inflammatory. Uh, and then you have the omega-3 fatty acids, which are anti-inflammatory. And you need a ratio of one to one. Most people have a ratio to like one to 10 omega-6, they're heavy on the omega-6. Or at one to 25, very heavy on the omega-6. That's why they're so inflamed and they have arthritis and they have heart issues. I was at the fair uh, this last weekend in Pennsylvania. Um, I've never I've seen so many deep fried uh, places where you could buy deep fried anything. Uh, they deep fry cheesecake and Oreos and uh, vegetables and everything. Of course, they kill everything. And of course, I had to look behind the curtain and see what kind of oil they're using. And it's vegetable oil, which is actually soy oil. Okay, so that's GMO soy, heavy omega-6. Uh, or they might use corn oil, which is also GMO. So I think the biggest confusion that people have with, is with the chemistry name linoleic versus alpha linolenic acid. Okay, this is linoleic versus alpha linolenic. Linoleic uh, is the, the vegetable oil, the corn, the soil, the safflower oil, sunflower oil, cottonseed oil. But it also has other types of a category, which is called the GLA, which I'm not going to try to keep this as simple as possible, but it's hard. GLA type fats which are anti-inflammatory, so they have, they're different than this. But if you're consuming like um, an omega-6 borage oil, evening primrose oil, black currant seed oil, those are anti-inflammatory. Those have a lot of health benefits, and they're very different than these oils. I mean, it's okay to consume some safflower oil, but um, the problem is like don't consume so much where you don't have enough omega-3. So this is what we need to focus on having more of omega-3 fatty acids, fish oils. So I like the cod liver oil. Virgin cod liver oil is the best. If you could find some, it's a bit pricey. Um, or just fattier fish. Um, sardines are really healthy. Uh, walnuts, nuts are high in omega-3. Flax is pretty darn high in omega-3. Seeds, other seeds are real high in omega-3. Chia has the most omega-3 of all the seeds. And then we got hemp seed, canola, and soy have around between eight and 10%, so it has a little bit of omega-3 but because it's GMO, we're not going to recommend it, okay? Um, so you also have other things that are essential uh, in the body called fat-soluble vitamins. So we, we don't just have essential fatty acids. We have actual vitamins that are essential that you need and you can't live without, and that would be vitamin A. It comes from the fat. Vitamin D, E, K2. So those are essential, uh, and it's also K1 as well. Uh, so a deficiency of essential fatty acid would leave you with scaly dry skin, dermatitis, all sorts of skin issues, uh, alopecia where your hair is falling out, low immune system. A lot of um, autoimmune cases are low in essential fatty acids. So it worsens your memory, your cognitive function suffers. It worsens your overall mood. You can become depressed. It affects the cardiovascular system. And there's one more point about this alpha linolenic acid, which is a type omega-3 fatty acid. We need this raw material to be able to enhance the most abundant fat in your nervous system, in your brain, and your retina of the eye uh, to prevent Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and to prevent loss of vision. And that is to have this turn into something called DHA. Okay, now you can get DHA directly from fish oils and egg yolks and other uh, fatty foods, but if you're trying to get them from vegetable sources and you have insulin resistance, you're not gonna convert those into the actual fat that you need, so you might have a problem. So to answer your question, do we really need fat in our diets? Well, the answer is absolutely, but we wanna make sure we have a ratio of one to one, omega-3 to omega-6. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, hey listen, I created a pretty amazing evaluation quiz down below that actually analyzes your symptoms to find the cause the root cause of all of your symptoms, the most likely cause. So take the quiz now and we'll send you a report.